Wakunta Kinte, son of Umura and Binta Kinte. You must always honor your ancestors. It's time your family pay, Kunta. If the 1977 multi-Emmy and Peabody award-winning Roots miniseries was ratings gold and groundbreaking television, then A&E Network's May 30th debuting for four consecutive nights and History Channel, A&E, and Lifetime simulcast reimagining of Alex Haley's multi-generational slavery saga, bestseller from 1976, will surely prove shocking and brutal to many today. And in this era of the Black Lives Matters movement, the prison industrial complex, and the last year of the administration of the nation's first African-American president, that is exactly why you should watch the ambitious eight-hour epic. This is the roots of the people who in many ways literally built this country. And it is a profoundly powerful story that has new resonance for our time. EP Mark Walper, son of the original Roots producer David Walper, has said that he knew it was time for a new Roots when his 16-year-old son watched the original and said that while he understood its importance, he found the nearly 40-year-old ABC broadcast show didn't speak to him. With a different director helming each night, this new version of Roots aims to talk directly to 2016 and therefore acts more like four interlocking two-hour independent films as Philip Noyce, Mario Van Peoples, Thomas Carter, and Bruce Beersford tell the tale from the abduction in Africa of Kunta Kinte played with stunning dignity by East Enders alum Malachi Kirby all the way across the decades to the Civil War era and the fraught alliance between Union soldiers and the slaves fighting beside them. Now, it seems almost foolish in some ways to contrast the two routes, but I will say, having rewatched the first one in, in anticipation of this review, looking back at the original Roots miniseries today, it does seem very sentimental. And even with its own cascade of whippings and lost limbs, often feels like it's pulling its punches in comparison to this new version. In this new version, there is a lot of blood, a lot of death and disturbing violence here, and harsh language as the N-word comes out of the mouth of masters and even children without hesitation. This is not sugar-coated slavery. It is the raw truth. There is no hero here, but the connection of blood, the human spirit, and the dignity of those who will not give it up despite a system that literally is set up to beat it out of them. My name is Kuta Kinti. While some subplots and secondary characters feel too quickly sketched out here in the sprawling arc of the miniseries, and with a distinct note and shout out of the often stunning design and cinematography in each episode, I have sometimes thought that a fifth night might have let this roots breathe a little bit more. But there are wonderful performances here, from Annika Noe Rose as Lizzie, Regine Page as Chicken George, a role played to Emmy-winning glory by Ben Vereen in 1977, as well as Erica Tazel, Forrest Whitaker, and Lawrence Fishburne as Haley himself, providing voiceover, and as you'll see at the end, more. Now, it's no secret that after having seen some less than stellar miniseries ratings results post 2012's hugely successful Hatfields and McCoy, that History and A&E Studios are betting heavily on Roots to bring in the numbers and the award season results. That's their job as a broadcaster, and it would be juvenile to begrudge them that, especially when the overall result here of the new roots is so commanding. In a year where Nate Parker's Nat Turner story in Birth of a Nation won acclaim at Sundance and is now set for Oscar contention from Fox Searchlight, and WGN America saw record ratings from the debut season of A Race for Freedom in Underground and its depiction of the Underground Railway in 1857, A New Roots is less a landmark nowadays and much more commanding as a deepening of the larger discussion of the great horror that institutionalized racism, in fact all racism, let's be honest, and slavery was socially and economically, and the wounds still just beneath the American body politic today. It's a story that should speak to all of us. And I think if you watch this new version of Roots, you will find it does. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.